if I love you, I'm gonna correct you. And I'm gonna do it sharply. Like you about to go walk in the street, I ain't gonna be like, hey, my brother, the car's coming. Don't walk in the street. No, I'm gonna be like, hey bro, get out the street. The car coming, I might even run up and snatch you. So I'm gonna correct you, I'm gonna rebuke you, I'm gonna make you do something, or I'm gonna say something that's gonna pull you away from what it is you're thinking or trying to do. That's right. That's love. The way I'm speaking, if I'm speaking loud, I'm telling you the right thing to do by getting married. If that make you feel a certain type of way, that ain't me hating you. That's the hate that's within you that's been put inside of you to go against God. That's right. You understand that? So you got to understand what love is. Love ain't this, this feeling that you have to an idea. It's action. Read. And in any wise, rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. You hear that? The way you rebuke your neighbor has to stop them from sin. What's your question? What's the greatest commandment? You know the greatest commandment. Oh. I do? Yeah, you know it. That's why you asked me this question. He ain't asked me that question. You know, the, you know the question. I do. What is it? But I want you to answer it, though. Why? I just want to know. I just want to know what's the, what's, what's, what you think. What is it's it? It's not important what I think. What's important is we learn to keep these commandments. That's right. right. You understand right. that? You're right. You're right. It's love. You're right. Love the Father and love your brother. Those are the greatest commandments. There you go. Right. Every commandment right. is encompassed within that. That's right. right. Yeah. So agree, what I you agree. have to do, you have to understand what love truly is. I agree. Love is correction. Before you walked up here, you was in error, and you thought you was, well, you said Honduras. So the error is you thought you was one thing, but me correcting you, me showing you love, which is following that commandment, is showing you know you Zebulon. Right. That's love. That's how you express that love. A lot of people say, this is how you um, serve God. You got to love him. How do you do that? I just showed you an example of how you love your brother. What? So how do you love God? Bring it out. God said there's no such thing as boyfriend and girlfriend. What? So you're going to serve the law of loving your brother and girlfriend or loving your brother and loving God and doing this one thing, by marrying the woman you're laying with. That's how you show God you love him. Get out. And your brother or your sister benefit from you loving God. You got a, you got a girlfriend? She left me. You got a wife? She left me. Why she leave you, bro? Because you wouldn't marry her. You weren't making her, you weren't making her honest. She lost feelings. You don't lose feelings. You don't lose feelings. You probably got disinterested or you probably develop another lust for somebody else. But because you don't understand... You don't understand what love is? Guess what? You allowed yourself to get in a situation where she didn't know how to love you. What? You understand that? How you doing, my sister? How do you love God? What is love? My brother, what's your name? I ain't get your name. Andre. Andre, nice to meet you, Andre. I'm Yokanai. What's your name? Denise. Denise. How do you love God? Believing in his word and staying faithful to him. Believing in his word and staying faithful to him. You like that? It's better than what I said. Yeah. Okay. Let's go and read what love is in Leviticus. So I said that honoring God or loving God or expressing how you love God is to keep the commandments. One of the commandments I was telling him is he has to get married. He can't be laying around with women. And there's a process before you get married. There's no sleeping with the woman. You got to take time to actually get to know her. Because back in the day, when he planted us a noble vine, he gave us noble understanding. And the noble understanding that we had as kings, as men that's upright, as women that was upright, we didn't allow our children to court. We arranged the marriages. We were way better off then than we are now when we allow our kids to pick their own partners. Our kids be picking partners, they be popping them in the head or even killing them. Bring it out. Our kid ain't got no more sense than we got on choosing a proper mate outside of this Bible. Teach. So I think if I want to love God, I'm going to say how, or I'm going to see how he describes love. Let's see what love is. Read. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 17. Bring it out. Thou shalt not hate 
Thy brother in thine heart. You hear what that said? Do not hate your brother in your heart. What's the opposite of hate? So he's saying, don't hate. So he's going to tell you, instead of hating, this is what you should do. Read. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. So the opposite of uh, hate is love. He said, don't hate, but rebuke. What is rebuke? What does that mean? Um, to not sin. To not sin. What does rebuke mean? If I'm rebuking you, what does that mean? Against, right? Against. Almost. Okay, almost. You in the same vein of thought. What does it mean to rebuke? Okay, that's the opposite of it. Rebuke means to actually correct and correct sharply. So if I love you, I'm gonna correct you and I'm gonna do it sharply. Like you about to go walk in the street, I ain't gonna be like, hey, my brother, the car's coming. Don't walk in the street. No, I'm like, hey, bro, get out the street. The car coming, I might even run up and snatch you. So I'm going to correct you, I'm going to rebuke you, I'm going to make you do something, or I'm going to say something that's going to pull you away from what it is you're thinking or trying to do. That's right. That's love. The way I'm speaking, if I'm speaking loud, I'm telling you the right thing to do by getting married, if that make you feel a certain type of way, that ain't me hating you. That's the hate that's within you that's been put inside of you to go against God. That's right. You understand that? So you got to understand what love is. Love ain't this, this feeling that you have to an idea. It's action. Read. And in any wise, rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. You hear that? The way you rebuke your neighbor has to stop them from sin. What I'm doing right now is stopping you guys from sin. So hold that. Go to Corinthians. I don't want him to sin no far in my presence. Read. This is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11 and verse 4. Bring it out. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonors his head. You hear that? It said every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonors his head. Look at these men's heads. What's on their heads? Hair. What's covering their head? Right. Read one. Verse 1. Be, clap it up, clap it up for him. He understood that in the spirit. All praises. Because what do we do when we go in the courthouse? Take our hat off. And that's a sign of respect. Respect. The Lord said, give me that respect. They get everything they get from our Lord. So why don't we just cut out the middleman and just get back to the source? Stop listening to the pastors and the preachers and the deacons and the people that's on the corners and people that's just in barber shops, people that's on the internet saying good things and let's just research ourselves because nine times out of ten everything they saying it's a derivative of what's up in here so just listen to God God say honor me respect me take your head off when you're in my presence read be ye followers of me even as I also am of Christ you hear that Paul said follow me like I follow Christ now I praise you brethren that ye remember me in all things and keep the ordinances as I deliver them to you but I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is the man. You hear that? That's an order. We're going over order. The head of man is who? Christ. Now, this is going to tie back into your other question that you heard earlier about the, the Trinity being three and one. This is another precept to help you explain that there's a difference in the two. Read. And the head of the woman is the man. So you got Christ, the man. And then the woman, read. And the head of Christ is God. You hear that? The head of Christ is who? God. It's a separation. They're not the same. God, Christ, man, and woman, read. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonors his head. And we understand that we're in the spirit of prophecy right now. We're speaking on Christ. You're in the spirit of prophecy right now because you're thinking on the things that's being stated. And it's making sense to you. It's resonating with you. So we all in the spirit right now. We have a church. You understand what I'm saying? So you in the spirit of Christ, take that head off. And you did that. So all praise to the most high for that. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. 
Foundation 